This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. After watching this video, you will become experts in controlling server motors because I'm going to show you how to control both small and large server motors using an Arduino Uno. An Arduino Nano development board with an external 5 volt power supply based on the 7805 voltage regulator and my newly designed Arduino Nano development board with a 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. You can easily control small servos like these using an Arduino Uno but when it comes to large servo motors, things start to get a bit complicated. I'm using the word complicated specifically for beginners because they completely ignore the power supply while using servo motors. We will also check how many servo motors we can control at the same time if we only use Arduino without an external power supply and we will see how many servos we can control if we use the 7805 voltage regulator with Arduino. Additionally, we will determine how many servo motors we can control if we use a 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. For the demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the HC-SR04 ultrasonic sensor to control these different types of servos. So without any further delay, let's get started. The VCC and ground pins of the ultrasonic sensor are connected to the Arduino Uno 5 volt and ground pins, whereas the trigger and echo pins are connected to the Arduino Uno D9 and D8 pins respectively. The servo motor 5 volt and ground wires are connected to the Arduino Uno 5 volt and ground, while the servo motor signal wire is connected to the Arduino Uno D3 pin, which is a PWM pin. You can download this circuit diagram from our website electronicclinic.com. As you can see, this is just a small program and it's used to move the servo arm to 90 degrees when the distance is less than 30 centimeters. I have already uploaded this program into the Arduino Uno, so let's go ahead and check all these servos one by one. I have powered up the Arduino board using my 4S lithium ion battery. This is also an external power supply, but I use it to power up the entire board. I don't use it to directly power up the servo motor, but I use the onboard 5 volt regulated power supply. So you can clearly see I'm using 5 volt from the Arduino. So let's go ahead and test it. Just as you saw, we can control one servo motor as I had already mentioned. Now let's connect the second servo motor and see if the Arduino's onboard 5 volt voltage regulator can handle it. The code is unchanged. I'm using the same pin D3 to control both the servos. Arduino Uno can also handle two servo motors and as you can see the servo arms move quite smoothly. Now I'm going to connect a third servo. As you can see Arduino Uno just can't handle three servo motors at the same time. These three motors draw so much current that it causes the Arduino to restart. If you control one or two servos at the same time, you can still control multiple servos. However, if you try to control these servos at the same time, they will behave abnormally. Next, I'm going to check the MG996R servo, which is known for its high torque capabilities. It typically provides a torque of around 10 kg. Anyway, let's go ahead and test it. I also connected this small servo and let's see if the Arduino Uno can handle it. As you can see the Arduino onboard 5 volt voltage regulator just can't handle these two servo motors at the same time but you can use a single MG996 or servo or you can control one servo at a time. But if you will try controlling both the servos at the same time, then it won't work. Now I'm going to test the Sun Founders digital servo. It provides a torque of 25 kg. Let's go ahead and test it. Ultim 365 lets you invite users to your workspace so everyone can collaborate on projects and access the latest design revisions. 
To invite a user to the workspace, click the name of the workspace and select My Ultium 365 to open the workspace configuration in your browser. On the left side, select Workspace Members. Click the Invite Workspace Members button to start the invitation process. To invite a user, enter their email address in the Aid Members field. You can invite multiple users at the same time. Finally, you can add a note that users will see in the invitation. After entering all the necessary data, click the Invite button to complete the process. Specify the administrator role for the invited user. Once a new team member accepts the invitation, they will have defined access to the workspace and can collaborate with other members. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart, the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. This servo has burned the onboard voltage regulator and now the Arduino Uno is not turning on. So do not power up any servos with a torque rating higher than 10 kg using the onboard voltage regulator of Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano. Otherwise, your Arduino Uno will also get damaged. I already knew that this won't work because it struggled to handle a servo with 10 kg torque. Next, I'm going to use this Arduino Nano development board which has the 7805 voltage regulator and let's see how many servos it can handle at the same time. Here is the circuit diagram. As you can see, I'm using the same pin D3 and I'm using the same code. It handled one servo well, but when I connected two servos, they exhibited some abnormal behavior. As you can see, this jerkiness at the beginning. Anyway, if you are building a robot or any project where you need to control two servos at the same time, I would say just don't use the 7805 voltage regulator. And when I connected this particular motor, it didn't work at all. Adding a capacitor across the voltage and ground wires of the servo will definitely help. However, I still won't recommend using the 7805 voltage regulator. As you connect different sensors, it will get hot and eventually burn out. Finally, I'm going to use my newly designed Arduino Nano and LoRa based development board. I have high expectations from this board because it has a 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. I have specifically built this development board for connecting and controlling multiple loads. I have added a link in the description if you want to make the same development board. Here is the simplified circuit diagram. Simply connect the VN of the 5 volt and 3 amps power supply to the VN pin of the Arduino Nano and to the servo red wire. And don't forget to connect all the grounds together. Anyway, I have slightly modified the code and as you can see this time around, I'm not using the ultrasonic sensor. Now the servo motors will run continuously and as you can see all three servo motors are operating smoothly. Next I also tested these two servo motors together and you can see both of them are working. And now finally I am going to test SunFounders 25kg Talk servo. I have had this servo with me for quite some time but I hadn't tested it yet because my development board wasn't ready back then. Anyway, let's proceed and test this powerful servo. Wow, this is simply amazing. The arm rotation is incredibly smooth and precise. I don't see any jerky or abnormal behavior. The Arduino Nano is not restarting, which is a good sign. This servo has been running for about four minutes and the power supply isn't even warm. That's very promising. How about if I connect the 10kg torque servo as well? Mm, let's do it. This is simply amazing. It can perfectly handle the two high torque servos. Still the movement is smooth. There is no jerkiness. The Arduino Nano isn't restarting. If it can control such high torque servos at the same time, then I'm sure it can also handle lots of small servos at the same time. To perform your Arduino based experiments, you can make my designed Arduino Nano development board. I have already explained its designing and making or you can make my designed 5 volt and 3 amps power supply. I have used the same power supply on my development board. So that's all for now.
Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.